<laughs> I like to let the audience get to know me before I get into the funny stuff. So first of all, I lost my virginity when I was 25. I'm 22 now. Uh, I'm very hopeful for the future. Yeah. <laughs> I was recently diagnosed with multiple personality disorder. Holy shit, me too. No way, so did I. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and my favorite song of all time is The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And my urge to sing it is always just a whim away. A whim away. <laughs> <laughs> if no one asks my jokes, I can just press that button. So fuck you hell. <laughs> um, I studied film and documentary in college. Also, I could chase my dream job. I work in a hotel. <laughs> um, we don't have to wear masks anymore. Woo! Yeah. But by the end of it, there wasn't really doing nothing. Like everyone I saw wearing it did it wrong. There'd be people with their noses hanging out, and you know, people having it up too high, looking like their devil. And then there'd also be people I saw doing it like this at a Jewish church. <laughs> Idiots. What kind of name is Rabbi anyway? We interrupt this comedy show to bring you a message from Anton Ash Chuck. Oh shit, this must be an update to the restrictions or something. I'll be back for attention to this, okay? Should be really important. Both an honest answer, have you ever taken illegal drugs in any shape or form? No, I never have. Have you ever acted? Uh, yeah, I answer that question. I'll press you about 12 or 13 years ago and I answered it truthfully. Mm -hmm. Which is? The answer that you did? Yes, but it was obviously a long time ago. Oh shit, sorry, he's just bragging about all the cool shit he does. <laughs> I don't really think that's fair. We shouldn't joke about a person's personal preference in any way. We should be making weed and stoner jokes about him. <laughs> way funny. Like the second in command of this country is a big bong man and I love it. <laughs> I wonder what kind of dealer he would have. I can't picture him on Snapchat looking every 10 minutes to see if Mr. Green has replied to his message. <laughs> Lads, I might have to leave the doll early. I need to go get some fifties from the ATM to meet your lad. I hope that's it. I know, I know there's a war going on, but if I don't go now, I'll have to wait till after his lectures. Come on, lads, please. <laughs> Sorry for mentioning the war. I've made things a little bit tense here. I've got some soothing music to make sure that everybody's okay and not too upset about the war, so. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Has anyone seen the Michael Jackson documentary? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that helps me out a lot. Um, it's disgusting. It's horrible to think about what happened to those poor kids. Michael, I have your willy in my hand. What do you want me to do with it? Beat it! Beat it! I want you to beat it, beat it! Oh God! When can I stop? Get up. You don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Get up. <laughs> Oh, why are you doing this to me? Because I'm bad, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Sorry, you shouldn't joke about motivation. It's a touchy subject. And <laughs> I'm gonna leave you on this now. It's one more song. It's for the ladies. It's all about nice guys. You know, lads who pretend to be nice and then they try and fuck you. So. <laughs> Like I'm in the front row, drinking at the king's head with the both of those hoes. I'm looking for a woman who is not European. In a nice plaid shirt, I confuse basic kindness with these bitches trying to flirt. And if I put in all the work and you still won't let me smash, then I'll fucking go berserk. I'm a in the new hip bar, it's not too far away because I can't drive a car. Leaning on the stools with the phone in my hands, I up the sexy bitches who be wanting a man. I got one coming close, walking up to the door, and I just happened to be in the situation before. I grabbed it by the handle and held it wide. She walked through, said thanks, then bye. Is that it? <laughs> Could you walk away after I held up in the door? And I tell you what, look like a slut, and nobody cares about you just because of your butt. Stop leading me on, bitch, you're wasting my time. I got other basic bitches fucking waiting in line, and your clothes are crimes. I got the worst taste, you didn't want to fuck you in the first place. I'm a nice guy. Like I'm in the front row, drinking at the king's head with the both of those hoes. I'm a nice guy. I'm getting where I fit in, I'm looking for a woman who is not European. And a nice plaid shirt, I confuse basic kindness with these bitches trying to flirt. And if I put in all the work and you still won't let me smash, then I'll fucking go berserk. I'm a okay, the bar was a bust, was full of picky women who start to discuss. I do the same shit, man, night after night. Then I go on the phone and I swipe after swipe. I go into Tinder settings, increase my area. Why the fuck is every girl in Galway called Sarah? Sarah, 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 Sarah. Woo! I threw my eye and she was a cat, so I swiped to the left. Could you believe what we matched? I said, hey, what's up? She said, hi, not much. Do you study around here? She said, no. Do you work around here? She said, no. I said, okay, bitch, let me do the heavy lifting. Your bad talking skills have prevented us from shifting. These girls just like jerks, they don't like nerds, and there's no hidden lesson here. I know my fucking work, I'm a nice guy. Like I'm in the front row, drinking out the king's head with the both of those hoes. I'm a nice guy. Trying to get in where I fit in, I'm looking for a woman who is not yours. In a nice flat shirt, I confuse basic kindness with these bitches trying to flirt. And if I put in all the work and you still won't let me smash, then I'll fucking go berserk. I'm a nice guy. Thank you very much.